everyone. My name is Tanu. It rhymes with canoe, if that's easier for you to remember. And today I'm here to share with you some lessons learned from my journey in cloud and DevOps. And it's kind of interesting because today you heard a lot about DevSecOps and DevOps with controls. So hopefully it fits right into that theme. Speaking of themes, sliced bread. DevOps is the greatest thing since sliced bread. We all know this, right? Automate the build, automate the test, automate the deploy. What's not to love? Automate all the things. And speaking of all the things, how about automating standards? Architecture standards, security standards, risk standards, test standards, observability standards. Anyone think of any more standards? I'm sure you know them all because they come at us every single day. And they're supposed to be good, right? They stop bad things from entering production. Who doesn't want that? Anyone? Hands up. You want bad things in production? Yes. <laughs> Didn't think so, uh, though I do appreciate the joke. Well, here's an example of a typical HA pattern. Nice, simple, easy to follow architecture pattern. And the thought process could be, hey, why don't we automate this? We'll save rework. Developers don't have to think anymore. But what if they do have to think? What if their application doesn't actually follow the pattern or the assumptions laid out in the pattern? What if I want to use a different compute than what was prescribed for me? What if I have a different database than what was prescribed for me? It's kind of like Michelle said this morning, don't do all the work for your developers. You hired them to actually think and to have ideas. Too much prescription, too much opinionation will stifle creative freedom. Next example, abstraction layers. These can be very common. They can be helpful, and from a control perspective, they're usually added to embed configuration or embed controls as a wrapper around your actual CI CD tools. But one problem that I've seen is that wrapper can obfuscate so much that it actually prevents your developers from being able to troubleshoot. Something goes wrong, and trust me, something will go wrong, and they don't know how to actually troubleshoot it because of that abstraction layer, which, by the way, was some custom proprietary thing built at your company that doesn't really add any value to your resume. And as an engineer who likes to learn and add value, it's hard for me to do that when all I'm doing is abstraction layers. Next example. So we have a typical pipeline, and we're starting off adding some controls. Security scanning is a pretty popular one to add. And it, it, it does seem like a good idea, right? Let's automate the scans, keep bad stuff from going into production. And it works so well that we just add more and more and more. And now our poor pipeline, our nifty little pipeline that was trying so hard to release code, is only doing controls. And when it fails, it's painful. So how do we get here? How do we get to this place of, oh my gosh, we have so many controls, and we forgot about actually releasing code in a timely fashion? Any guesses? There's probably a lot of reasons for how we got here. But in my experience, the biggest reason was kind of misunderstanding who your customer was. Like, who is your customer? And moreover, who is your first and primary customer? And what tends to happen is if your first and primary customer was, in fact, security or risk, they might be very happy, but your poor developers are very not. And so generally speaking, if security is your first customer, beware of unhappy developers. Shifting left, Topa mentioned this earlier, and so to repeat his point, beware of blocking. The other point that I will add is also beware of duplication. Make sure you're deliberate in where you've shifted left the control so that you don't have to repeat it. So in summary, automating architecture patterns is a good thing. Just be careful about over-prescribing and having too many opinions that get in the way of your developer's innovation. And the next one is around using abstraction. So as I mentioned, abstraction can actually be helpful. Just beware of abstraction without a focus on self-service. If you keep in mind developer productivity and self-service, you'll be more cautious in that use. And speaking of cautious, by all means, enforce standards, enforce controls. I am not saying don't do security. I'm just saying balance it. Don't do too much of it. Don't forget who your customer actually was. And don't forget to optimize it. And if you do optimize it and you do achieve balance, then you'll have happy security and happy developers. And who doesn't love that? Thank you very much. <laughs>